Hey guys, it's a fairly common occurrence for air conditioner technicians to get calls about the AC unit not turning on. But for you, it's a really frustrating situation, with the summer heat and humidity turning everyone in your family cranky. In this video, we will review the top main reasons why your air conditioner is not turning on, so you can fix it on your own. Be sure to watch till the end for our best tips. If you want more information, check out the article in the description below. If you have any questions, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing to check is the circuit panel, circuit breakers, and the fuses. Whether a fuse is blown or circuit breakers have tripped due to an overloaded circuit, the panel is a gray box that may be located in the basement, garage, laundry, or in a utility room if you have one. It may also be located outside the house. Look for one or more circuit breakers that are either in the off position or neutral. You should first turn off lights and extra appliances in the room where the breaker tripped to avoid overloading the circuit again. In order to restore power to the circuit, move the breaker to the full off position and then move it to the on position. If all the breakers are on, then check if your electrical panel has fuses. Look for fuses that have blown. After identifying the broken fuse, just unscrew it and replace it with another fuse having the same specifications. The next step after checking the electrical panel is to check the power socket where the AC is plugged in. Next thing to do is reset your system. Supposing there are no issues with the power supply to the AC unit, you should check if there is an emergency switch that was turned off. Turning it on again should take care of the problem. If that doesn't work, consult the appliance's user manual to see if there is a reset button. Follow the instructions to reset the device or try switching the unit off for 5 minutes, then restart. Next to check is the thermostat. Many AC problems that are not related to electrical issues or the wiring of your home can be traced back to the thermostat. The thermostat of an air conditioning unit plays a key role in ensuring the system functions properly. So here are the things that you need to check in the thermostat. If your thermostat temperature is set to warm or heat, it won't turn on. Try turning the thermostat to cool and setting the temperature to 5 degrees below the current temperature. And if the sensor gets dislodged, the solution is to adjust it and simply bend the wire that holds the sensor in position. If the thermostat display is totally blank, check if the battery is dead. Some thermostats have batteries, which you can replace. And last, if you think that your thermostat is faulty, try turning the AC on from the main unit, bypassing the thermostat. If the unit will turn on manually, you're likely suffering from a thermostat problem. In such cases, your best bet is to call in a professional to handle it. If you've tried all of the above and none of them work, don't lose hope. Sometimes a lack of maintenance leads to issues like dirty filters or a clogged drain. We'll walk you through diagnosing and fixing these issues. A dirty air filter will prevent air from returning to the AC. Reducing airflow over the evaporator coil can cause it to ice up. First, open up the AC's return vent and remove the filter. You'll know it's dirty if you can't see light through it. Change the filter if it's disposable, or clean it thoroughly with water and dry it. Your air filters should be changed every three to four months. If the refrigerant or coolant leaks or has holes in the system and the condensate drain line gets clogged, the water overflows and a drain float switch will shut down your AC to prevent any water damage. Use a wet, dry vacuum to clean the drain. Locate the main condensate drain line and connect the wet dry vacuum's hose to the condensate drain line, then turn it on to suck out any obstructions. Wait around 3 minutes to ensure that the drain line is clean. If the outdoor unit is clogged with leaves or other debris, it may lead to problems such as the hot air flowing indoors instead of outside. Similarly, if the fan is not working, you may hear noises like tapping, scraping, etc. You can clear up the outdoor unit by removing any objects that may be stuck inside. In serious cases, such as the burning smell from the unit, you should call in a professional. There you have it! Our top main reasons why your air conditioner is not turning on and how to fix it on your own. If you think this video is helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. If it doesn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.